Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul. It is a Wednesday and it is the 17th of January 2018. Very grateful to be connecting with you today on this live stream about relationships. We all have them, some of them wonderful, some of them painful. And so the value of the wisdom and teachings that Master Shah has shared are quite beneficial for relationships. So if you have any relationship difficulties, whether it's with the, the family, the wife, the husband, significant other, could be possibly two of the children you get along with well, but one of them you do not, uh, possibly a coworker. This uh, wisdom teachings and blessings today should assist you with some um, guidance and uh, powerful techniques that can assist you with balancing your relationship blockages. So I hope you're able to stick around. For those that are not, they just kind of stumbled across this and said, yeah, that's interesting. I'd, I'd really like to hear more, but can't. Then you got a couple options. Um, at my website listed above is a link. And you can, if you're a very busy kind of person, you're like more of a podcast kind of a person. At my website under my, um, under my blog, you can access all of my recordings uh, and come, have them come to your phone in the form of a blog uh, podcast. <clears throat> so you can do it that way. Alternatively, you can simply like and subscribe to me and then you'll know when I go live and alternatively as well, you can go back to uh, this page later on and see the recording since this becomes a recording at the end of this. So those are a couple different ways you can watch or listen to this later. A lot of people are appreciating the podcasts uh, because it lets them to be multitasking a bit, driving or whatever, and still take in some of the wisdom. So that's what you can expect today. Uh, as with every time when I do the live streams, it's by guidance. And today, this is what the guidance was. For those that missed yesterday, do please go back to my Facebook page and scroll back to yesterday's live stream. It was an introduction to the Awakened Spiritual Channels program. Uh, and it is a full-length 12-week program that goes into great detail on um, how to awaken your spiritual channels and it goes into detail on various foundational energy centers, the uh, soul houses, the seven soul houses, and the energy and matter channel uh, along with a lot more. Uh, yesterday I spoke quite a bit about that and the big surprise to me which was how it had a very positive impact on people's health and wellness. So by the end of the 12 weeks, the uh, students uh, were remarkably doing better in their life. So, uh, you know, if that's of interest to you, <clears throat> then uh, I encourage you to learn more about that as well. Let's see who's joined us today. Welcome, Linda Iloba. Welcome also to Alan Whitman. And aloha, Monica. Welcome, Kristen Strachan. Aloha, Melissa Reiki and M.A. Drabe. Uh, Divjo. Div Div and welcome also to Elizabeth and Lali. Welcome Amy and aloha to Angie Taylor and Emma Kinningson. Welcome, aloha. Uh, welcome Alexander and also to Peggy Harnish. Welcome also to Michelle. Looks like I'm gonna need to mute my sounds. So let me do that. Hopefully that works, we'll see. And welcome Michelle McDoon. Welcome also to Larissa, Sharon Dodd. Welcome Monica. Uh, welcome Nola and Larissa. Welcome Erica, Lisa Zarniak, Lisa Carter, and Judy Thompson. And uh, if I missed you, if I didn't mention you, Missy, welcome. And Pamela as well, Pat. And welcome Joanna Jo and Don Robinson. Thank you for coming and thank you also for sharing, letting other people know about today's live stream. So in preparing for today, I went to uh, one of Master Shaw's books, uh, this particular one, Divine Transformation. It's actually one of my favorites. And Divine Transformation, um, you know, I remember when it was written, I read it uh, very quickly and I was, I reported, uh, you know, I did a, a review on it because I was just so moved by the wisdom in it. It was a very powerful and well presented book. And it's one that if, you, if you're one of those people that just has difficulty <clears throat> in a relationship uh, as a whole, 
and just have difficulty with forgiveness as a whole. Um, it could do a lot to serve you in your soul journey. Definitely, I can tell you that. And welcome, Pecky Harnish. And welcome, Tiffany Ann. Uh, and welcome, Kathy Arnold. Thank you for coming. So while the rest of the uh, Facebook gathers more people, let's go ahead and connect, placing our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. We drop the left hand in front of the heart center and right hand remains pointed towards heaven. Let us close our eyes. Let us fully connect. I'll invite in the beings of light. <clears throat> They're all layers of the divine Tao and Source. Masters, Ascended Masters, Gurus, Lama, Sifu, Saints, Buddhas, and Bodhisattvas. All of those serving the planet of the light side, including our beloved Mother Earth, all light, planet, stars, galaxies, and universes. Beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, beloved Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, uh, beloved Buddha and Kuan Yin, Ganesha, Krishna and more. We love you all, honor you all, respect you all, and invite you to please be present at this time. <clears throat> we ask each and every one of you to please come at this time to serve all of us in whatever way is most appropriate to help us to release our relationship suffering. Help us to find a way to forgive those that have brought unpleasantness into our life. Dear the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony, transmitted to all souls and all universes, we love you, honor you, respect you. We ask you to please turn on and we invite all souls and all universes to please come at this time and to chant love, peace, and harmony with us, offer your unconditional service. If there are any new folks watching now or in the future, listening on podcasts, this is a mantra and this is a healing mantra. You may make a request at this time. And if you'd like to learn more, you can go to lovepeaceharmony.org and also uh, Kristen Rojas, an amazing universal servant, helps me every day, um, posts on her chat. So please uh, refer to that to get the links. So let us chant together. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, La, Li. Lula, Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, li, lula, lula, li, lula. Oi, wo xian er ling, oi, tran ran li, wang li ying rong, er mu shir shong, shong ai ping on her she. Xiong ai ping an he xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Many, many happy faces today. Many, many people giving their love. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, welcome, Tracy Perriman. And welcome also to uh, Debbie Davenport. Aloha, Catherine. Aloha, Carol. And uh, Don Brown. And let's see. Welcome also to Francis Mayers and Sarah Abernathy. Aloha to all of you. If I missed your name, please forgive me. Thank you for coming. Thank you for sharing. So today, forgiveness in relationships. Who can relate to that, right? Raise your hand. Show me uh, some, some happy or sad faces. If you have relationship problems in your life, right? And then what kind are they? I'd like to see what kind they are. You know, are they work-based relationships? Are they family, you know, husband, wife? Uh, could be one, one of the two or children. Could be um, relationship with self, right? That's a variable. Could be, yeah, I see sibling rivalry. Yeah, brothers and sisters, ugh. Some of these are tough. 
very, very tough. And they impact our lives quite negatively. Relationships are important to us, especially the closer ones, like the family ones, because we cannot necessarily divorce our family, right? Uh, as much as we might try, they're still there uh, putting their, you know, their um, unpleasant comments in the side of our stomach. And so when it comes to those people that are closest to us, it creates a great deal of tension in our lives. It creates a great deal of stress. That tension, that stress tends to um, impact the other areas of our life. Have you ever noticed that? You have stress at work. I see Larissa says stress at work. Do you think that doesn't carry over to the home? It absolutely does. Do you think it impacts your finances? Yes. So stress at work creates stress in finances because maybe you don't want to work there anymore because of the people you're working with. Maybe you liked the job originally and now you don't, uh, but maybe it's because of the people. It could be in reverse where stress at home makes it uh, where you bark at people in other locations. Uh, maybe you're a teacher and you bark at your students and so forth. And so um, the when we have relationship blockages, it in almost every case creates a rollover effect into the rest of our life. It can create some significant issues. And I'll share with you some of the things Master Shah says in his book around this. Uh, welcome Skylar Gresko. Welcome also to Lisa Patterson. And um, Angie says, yeah, it, relationship stress with mother and father, um, sibling rivalry. What else do we have here? Family in general, says Michelle. Work, says Larissa. Partnership challenges with PATH, whoever transforming more and more every day. Mindfulness. Welcome, Natasha. Mother and daughter is relationship areas for one of the folks here. And so how do we deal with this in the best way possible? Well, we can go to marriage counselors. We can go to relationship counselors. They serve a purpose and they have great insights. And sometimes it works. Um, some of us have tried it to varying degrees. Sometimes we have relationship blockages. I see relationship with pets. That's funny. Um, we have relationship blockages with ourself. Okay, that's, you know, that's separate, a live stream, really. But in terms of, and there's another one, which is relationship blockages with those in our life. And the, we have a good relationship with them, except when it comes to our spiritual journey. That's another live stream also. I've done that live stream before. I'll have to do it again. And welcome, Johannes. Thank you for joining. But today we're going to focus on people in our lives for whatever the reason that we have a relationship stress with. I'm going to share uh, some things here from Master Shaw's book. Now, the book I'm working with is called Divine Relationships. And I'll be jumping around a little bit in here because some of the information is pertinent immediately and some of it is pertinent a little bit later. Millions of people, this is on page 111, millions of people have good relationships, probably billions. At the same time, millions, probably billions of people have challenging relationships. Most people have some good relationships and some challenging ones. Now, this is important to look at. If all your relationships was good, that's a very good sign. If there's one or two that are not, but everyone, all the other ones seem to work out fine, this should be a huge red flag for you. Because in the wisdom and teachings of Master Shah, it always boils back to our spiritual virtue and our spiritual debt, or another word for that is karma. So if I saw siblings, brothers and sisters, guarantee there have been other lifetimes which you guys have been in other roles, possibly brother, sister, possibly lover, possibly uh, father to child, or mother to daughter, etc. And in those other roles, there was a lack of honoring and respect as there is in this relationship. And so if you address it with the modern day techniques, it may have some value. But how do you do that if you're the only one that wants to fix it? The other one is oblivious. Okay. Let's see a showing of happy faces or sad faces. How many of those ones that you'd like to fix it to are not interested, right? They're oblivious to it. They don't really care. It's not their problem. It's your problem, right? I know a lot of you have to deal with that. So the one beautiful thing about 
the soul wisdom that Master Shah brings to us is that that other person or other people do not have to be in the same room. They don't have to be in the same room to bring benefit and resolve. Okay. So it's interesting because our our teaching, our training in this physical world is that, you know, we have to have that other person. We have to be face to face with them to bring resolve. Um, we have to pow it out, hash it out. It hasn't worked so far. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people going, yeah, I can relate to that. So why hasn't it worked so far? Karma, very simple. That person's mindsets, attitudes, beliefs are different than your mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs. And the, the verbiage you're using is not going in the front door, not going in that ear. Uh, it's, it's butting up against their mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs. And they argue theirs, you argue yours, you're at an impasse, and you stay in that place of stress, that place of unhappiness. And this happens with billions of people in humanity. So what we want to do is resolve it using the soul wisdom. Okay, um, so let me move on here. Now, Master Shah talks about the big way is extremely simple. What does he mean by that? The big way is extremely simple. Da Dao Jurjin. Da Dao means the big way. Jurjin means extremely simple. Da Dao Jurjin, the big way is extremely simple, means use heaven's power to assist you to transform the blockages. You keep trying to do it the same way you've always done it, you're going to get the same results. That's also the definition of insanity. So why would you want to keep doing it the same way you've always been doing it? It hasn't worked so far, has it? Time to look at a different possibility. Dada Georgian, the big way is extremely simple. Use heaven's power to assist you. What does that look like? What does that mean, use heaven's power? It means bringing balance into your relationship by bringing balance to the karma in the relationship. And so what Master Shah has done, thank you, Master Shah, thank you, Divine Tao and Source, for finding Master Shah and delivering uh, amazing power to him. Uh, for over 20 years now, especially for anybody new, for over 20 years now, Master Shah has been serving humanity unconditionally. And he's, his um, people have become more and more aware of him over time. And a lot of times their awareness has become they have received miracle healing. A lot of times it's because a book landed on their doorstep somehow uh, and the information in it changed their perspective on life and they applied the wisdoms and it worked. As Master Shah became a higher, uh, more respected and elevated servant to humanity, heaven recognized this and they transmitted additional powers to him. The power to do miracle healing and the power to transmit um, healing objects, things, or frequencies, if you will, into books, into other things. Now, as a, as a master teacher, certified master teacher, uh, I have also, thank you, Master Shah, received uh, some of those abilities. So you're going to receive one of those blessings today for all those of you that are going to be here. <clears throat> what he's done is he has placed in his books transmissions. These transmissions are frequencies, if you will, that come in the form of jindons. Jindon is a Mandarin Chinese word that means light ball. So it's a frequency light ball. You don't have to believe it, um, but it would help if you work with it. And so uh, there's a few people that have joined us today that have third eye. I know uh, Catherine has joined us, so I'm going to ask her to share, uh, when I deliver this, what she sees. If anybody else has third eye, you're welcome to share. Welcome Janice, welcome Anjali. Uh, welcome also to Quincy and Michelle. Uh, and welcome to Judy Thompson, Peggy. Welcome Danette, welcome Leela, welcome uh, Allison and welcome Francis D. Robinson uh, and if I missed anybody else welcome Brenda uh, whoever else if I missed you forgive me so I'm going to deliver to you now one of the transmissions and this is only if you're interested to receive it okay if you're not interested just say you know say to heaven I'm not interested in receiving this this is a transmission from Master Shah's book um, Catherine I'm going to ask you or anybody else that has third eye to please share what they saw when I deliver this. Now what I'm going to deliver 
<coughs> you can see here is in the bold print in his book. You see there's light print and there's bold print. So in Master Shah's books, at least the last, except for the last three, prior to that, he has put uh, what's called divine transmissions in there. So there's, be very wise to get his books. You'll get huge, huge, huge blessings from them. Um, and this is what's called a divine rainbow light ball and rainbow liquid springs of divine harmony. Okay? Harmony. Harmony is what is needed for relationships. So what is divine harmony and what is a rainbow light ball and rainbow liquid spring of divine harmony, Jindan? The rainbow light ball and rainbow liquid springs is the level of a frequency. Okay, welcome back. I was still talking, but you got to see some other blessing areas. Um, I don't know how that switched over, but that happens. So the divine uh, rainbow light ball and rainbow liquid spring of divine harmony, soul transplant, mind transplant, and body transplant are exactly what they sound like. They are a transplant that comes three different orders. It comes to your soul, your heart, and your mind. Excuse me, your soul, your mind, and your body. Your soul includes the heart. And so what will happen is you will receive a uh, frequency, Jindan light ball, at the rainbow frequency level that in essence clears some of the blockages at the level of soul. Soul blockages are karma blockages. Clear some of the blockages at the level of mind. Mind blockages are negativities, egos, attachments okay, around relationship, around the inability to have harmony. Body transplants are the damage to the body that has happened when we constantly hold on to anger, fear, regret, sadness, grief, all of those unpleasant emotions related to our inharmonious relationships. And our energy and our matter of our body becomes uh, damaged. The, the, the cell, your structure literally starts changing because of the energetic impact of the constant disharmony. And so this uh, rainbow light ball, rainbow liquid spring, Jindan of divine harmony will help release some of those blockages and bring huge, huge light to your body. This Jindan then becomes a tool. Master Shah's teaching, the big way is extremely simple. Why would you keep hitting your head against the wall thinking that's going to fix the relationship? Why would you keep doing the same things you've always done? Use higher frequencies, use higher powers. It makes life a lot easier and it will assist you to purify through that relationship much, much faster. That's his wisdom. This will help you to accomplish that. So you're right. Somebody said this is a huge transmission. It absolutely is. So prepare to receive. Whoever would like to receive, sit up straight. Bring your back away from the back of the chair. Feet flat on the floor. And prepare to receive. If it is not something you're interested in receiving, you just say, uh, thank you, heaven, but I'm not interested in receiving this now. You can, of course, go get the book yourself and receive it at a later time when you are ready. So prepare. And those with third eye, please let me know. Uh, make note of what you see. I'm preparing myself right now. Divine order from the authorities given from Master Shah to me as a master teacher to deliver to all those watching, all those listening as appropriate for those that have requested divine rainbow light ball and divine rainbow liquid spring of divine harmony soul transplant 
Uh, transmission. Prepare. Divine order. Divine rainbow light ball and divine rainbow liquid spring of divine harmony. Mind transplant. Releasing negative mindsets. Prepare. Uh, transmission divine order divine rainbow light ball rainbow liquid spring of divine harmony body transplant uh, transmission divine order divine rainbow light ball divine rainbow liquid springs of divine harmony soul mind body transplants join as one Turn on 24-7. Transmission. Hey, ya, uh, hey, ya, uh, hey, ya, uh, yo. Ha, ha, ha. You are extremely, extremely blessed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Divine Dao Source, thank you, Master Shah. Okay, I see some people already sharing of their experience. Now, you may feel something also. Please share if you felt anything. Do you feel any vibration? Do you feel any heat? Do you feel anything come through your crown chakra? Welcome, Rhonda Sue. Um, welcome, Alicia D'Amico. Uh, Catherine says this is a huge transmission. She can already see it being prepared. Uh, Ingeborg, let's see. Uh, Catherine says, and Catherine is, is a local student here. She's, she's had her third eye open before she even came to see Master Shah. And since then, her third eye has opened tremendously. Uh, she also does amazing animal paintings, Heaven's Animal Paintings. So you should um, friend Catherine if you'd like to know more about that. She says, I can see a beautiful light ball forming with the love and frequency, uh, love and frequency of love, forgiveness, harmony, peace, and gratitude. She sees it in the form of colors, different colors for different people. Many people and souls we are connected with have gathered to receive the light flash of these transmissions. So she's seeing that other souls connected to us, especially those connected with our relationship issues, are also coming around to receive the flash. And they are bowing their heads in gratitude. The souls understand the power of this blessing. Tiffany says she feels the heat and lightheaded. Wow, so very blessed. Lightheaded and white star, says Debbie Davenport. Uh, Sharon Dodd felt numb, tingling in the right hand. Uh, bright colors and when you said transmission she felt waves through her body says Joanna Joe thank you Joanna and welcome tingling in the head says Tiffany feeling tingles in the head and down the back of the shoulders uh, lots of heat says Angie colorful full flashes coming towards her says Sharon Dodd uh, thank you powerful blessing and Catherine says uh, she feels heaven's crystal water flowing down her back and cleansing her cells and vibrating beautiful powerful Kathy says she can see flashes of golden light and then rainbow flashes of light from above. Uh, Catherine sees uh, flowers falling and chains between people turning to beautiful golden ribbons. Beautiful. Very important sharing. Think about that. Third eye shows chains between people converting to beautiful golden ribbons. And uh, Debbie says pressure on her collarbone through her shoulders. So these transmissions are not small these are huge transmissions i've had people had significant back pain and i've given them a blessing to clear heart center blockages and their back pain just went away entirely why because when we have blockages relationship blockages directly affect our heart center it absolutely affects uh, our physical body like the back of the body uh, Johannes says, I saw when you did the invocation, a box like a treasure chest open up in heaven and the transmissions came like golden balls to the persons receiving it. Before you said transmissions, they were above your head. After they came down with a huge boost in everyone's bodies, each transmission came to different areas. Yes, good third eye imagery. Um, that's what I saw as well. So thank you. I didn't see the, the treasure chest. Uh, but I saw the light balls distributing to everybody's body. 
Um, so thank you for sharing. Welcome, Shaz. Uh, Pamela says, the second transmission, she had a sharp pain come out of her right ear, and after a thought she had spoken, changed what her thoughts were immediately. Uh, Catherine, she sees a ribbon flowing through humanity. So this harmony light ball, she sees a ribbon flowing through humanity and balancing is brought to one's relationship. It has a positive effect on every relationship and with everything. Um, beautiful. Great sharing. So happy to hear your guys, um, what you were able to see and what you were able to experience. Very important. So I will do a flow and then we will do a practice. Okay? Because this is not a one-time thing. This is a permanent transmission that resides with your soul permanently. And Catherine made an important statement of what she was able to witness with her third eye is that it's impacting all humanity. Why? Because just now, 40 people receive this. There will be at least another couple hundred that watch this that receive it. There will be another couple hundred that listen to it on podcasts that receive it. That's a lot of souls in which heaven's frequency permanently comes to their body, bringing harmony uh, frequencies. And that naturally spreads out because we're all interconnected anyway. So this is a very important statement. So I'm going to do a quick flow so everybody understands the value of this, and then we'll do a practice with it, all right? So I ask the soul of this transmission to please share your power and significance with everybody so that they understand. Thank you. How? It is my deepest honor to share with each of you my deep gratitude for having been both created and distributed to humanity in such a unique and profound way. I am and was created in the heart of the one you call God and have been given the authority to be distributed through the one you know as Master Shah. When this authority was given to Master Shah, he was quite surprised because the Divine told him, you need to be able to distribute my power to more people. And in their conversation, Master Shah asked, how am I to do this? And the Divine said to him, I will give you the power to put it into books. Master Shah responded, that should be interesting. How will I do that? And he was told at that time how he would accomplish it. Since then, I have many brothers and sisters in the form of divine transmissions for love, forgiveness, compassion, light, removing negativity, uh, healing, and many, many more transmissions have been placed in various books. My power and significance is directly related to harmonizing all form of relationship. Even if you do not remember me being brought to you a month from now, I am still serving you and your journey. I am still bringing harmony to your relationships. I am assisting you in each moment to speak, think, and act in a more healthy, appropriate, and harmonizing like manner. Just by receiving me, your frequency has changed. I have and am still aligning to your soul to assist you and your soul to accomplish your personal soul-related task. And a lack of harmony is obviously detrimental to you accomplishing your soul-related tasks. If you are uh, consistent, conscious if you will, and ask me to turn on and serve 
in a specific meditation or practice, you will quickly discover that my power will help you tremendously with virtually any area of your life you ask. This includes harmony with your finances, harmony with your children, harmony with yourself, and anywhere you notice disharmony, I can be applied. You can even ask me to serve those you witness being disharmonious to each other, and I will subdivide from you, go to them, and offer blessings. You could witness an immediate shift if you pay attention. This is but a very small representation of my capabilities. It is my honor to be delivered to each of you. It is my honor to serve you. This I am the soul of the rainbow light ball, rainbow liquid springs of divine harmony, soul, mind, body, transmission. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What a beautiful soul. Hmm? Very big heart to serve. I can tell you, I, there is so much that this soul can do. Harmony is one of the ten da's. So it's not a small transmission to receive. So I'll just check a few more comments and then I will uh, we'll move to some practice. Welcome Becky Lafave, Michelle Michelle, welcome Maria Crispy, and welcome Lutzia. Um, okay. So now we're going to use this practice. I'm going to walk you through the four power technique, okay? Body power, sound power, mind power, soul power. So everybody close your eyes. Let us place our hands in soul light, soul service, and position. It's a prayer position. We drop the left hand in front of the heart center. This is a hand mudra position. So close your eyes. This is where our hand power will stay. This is body power. For sound power, I will lead you to that in a minute. For mind power, we're going to visualize one relationship where you call forth that soul, and I'll walk you through that, and you'll visualize the rainbow light ball turned on inside you, radiating light between the two of you, clearing the blockages between the two of you. Okay, that will be your visualization. For soul power, please repeat after me. Dear soul, mind, and body of the divine rainbow light ball, rainbow liquid spring of divine harmony, soul, mind, body transplants, I love you. I honor you. I appreciate you. You have the power to clear my soul, mind, body blockages, especially for the relationship between me and state that one person you would like to do this practice with. Dear the soul of, state that one person you want to do that practice with, I love you, honor you, appreciate you. Could you please come to this practice? Thank you. I am very grateful and I cannot thank you enough. Dear the soul of my life, uh, dear the soul of all of the karma between me and, state the person's name, Please come at this time. Please open yourself fully to receive the blessings so that we can harmonize our relationship. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now I'm going to do a quick forgiveness. It may not directly uh, align to your condition, but work with it. Dear this beloved soul that I have invited, continue to repeat, I love you, honor you, deeply appreciate you. You are very important to me. I wish to sincerely apologize if in this lifetime or any lifetime I have not communicated to you with love, honoring, and respect. If I have been angry, violent, if I have communicated to you 
in a way that was dishonoring or disrespectful. I sincerely apologize. If I have judged you or been critical of you, put you down in this or any other lifetime that I do not remember, I deeply and sincerely apologize. If I have taken advantage of you, lied to you, cheated to you or cheated on you, if I have been deceptive, manipulative, if I have harmed you uh, physically, emotionally, if I have harmed you mentally, if I have harmed your heart, broken your heart, broken vows in any lifetime, I deeply, sincerely apologize. I cannot imagine doing these things to you, but I know it's possible because I have experienced some of these imbalances with our relationship. And I know it's possible I may have done the same things to you that I feel you may have done to me. And if I have, then from my heart, I sincerely apologize. And if you have reminded me this time around by being in these unpleasant ways towards me, I wish to offer you my unconditional forgiveness. I wish to release you of any spiritual debt you have with me. And I sincerely ask your forgiveness if I created any of these problems between us. I ask that as we chant together, that you please release me of these debts and that we harmonize our relationship to be smooth, supportive, loving, and respectful once again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So you'll repeat this. We're going to repeat Divine Harmony Treasures clears my relationship blockage with, state their name. You can just state their first name, David or Mary or whatever the first name is. And we say thank you. Again, Divine Harmony Treasures clears my relationship blockages with, da 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 da, thank you. Repeat, Divine Harmony Treasures clears my relationship blockages with da 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 thank you divine harmony treasures clears my relationship blockages with da 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 thank you send your rainbow light ball harmony love to them see it doing the work visualize divine harmony treasures clears the relationship blockages between me and da 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 thank you Divine Harmony Treasures clears the relationship blockages between me and thank you. Divine Harmony Treasures clears the relationship blockages between me and thank you. Divine Harmony Treasures clears the relationship blockages between me and thank you. Divine Harmony Treasures clears the relationship blockages between me and thank you. Divine Harmony Treasures clears the relationship blockages between me and thank you. Divine Harmony Treasures clears the relationship blockages between me and thank you. Divine Harmony Treasures clears the relationship blockages between me and Thank you. Continue to repeat silently. Give your love. Silently continue to repeat. Give your love. Give your forgiveness. You may have been the instigator of the unpleasantness you have been on the receiving end of. Divine Harmony Treasures clears the relationship blockages between me and thank you. Divine Harmony Treasures clears the relationship blockages between me and thank you. Thank you. Divine Harmony Treasures clears the
the relationship blockages between me and thank you divine harmony treasures clears the relationship blockages between me and thank you continue to chant silently divine harmony treasures blesses my relationship with da 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 thank you divine harmony treasures blesses my relationship with da 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 thank you divine harmony treasures blesses my relationship with da 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 thank you divine harmony treasures blesses my relationship with da 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 thank you divine harmony treasures blesses my relationship with thank you divine harmony treasures blesses my relationship with thank you divine harmony treasures blesses my relationships with thank you few more minutes divine harmony treasures blesses my relationships with thank you divine harmony treasures blesses my relationship with thank you divine harmony treasures blesses my relationship with thank you divine harmony treasures blesses my relationship with thank you three more times divine harmony treasure blesses my relationship with thank you divine harmony treasures blesses my relationship with thank you divine harmony treasures blesses my relationship with thank you thank you thank you now we have in many cases many people in our life that we might have relationship blockages with certainly more than one we can invite all their souls and do this practice for a few minutes each and every day some of you have issues with those people at work they're all the souls of all of my co-workers from my level below my level and up that I have daily interaction with could you please come to this soul practice I sincerely apologize if in this early lifetime I have been a disrespectful dishonoring poor communication treated you in an unpleasant way gossiped about you whatever creates your work problems you ask forgiveness for very simple uh, I am going to chant to serve all of us divine divine rainbow light treasures blesses the relationship between me and all my co-workers right this is how you do it you can do it with your family members or your mother and father's soul divine harmony treasures blesses the relationship between me and my mother and father thank you so you can bring all of them in and just ask it to serve them all or you can do it individually if you have a significant individual issue you definitely want to spend a little more time with that one and definitely do some deep forgiveness a lot of people ask me uh, you know master paul what do i ask forgiveness for i don't know what i did so I, I, how do i do forgiveness right i'm sure some of you have that question too here's how you do it you look at what your problem is with that person okay however they are towards you if they're disrespectful if they're dishonoring if they speak down to you and they belittle you guess what that's your karma that means that you were a version of them in a different time kind of sucks doesn't it what if uh, there is um, uh, another way where where there's a lot of manipulation okay guess what that's your karma that's what you ask forgiveness for so it's very easy for us to say they did this to me this is how they are towards me well forgiveness is that's what you ask forgiveness for having been that way towards them in a time that you cannot remember you probably can't even fathom being such an unpleasant da 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 but there's a reason why it's coming to you when you do forgiveness and you invoke the rainbow light ball uh, treasures that harmony soul radiates a very high frequency and it basically disrupts the um the karmic patterns your forgiveness disrupts the karmic patterns and it brings harmony to it you be shocked you do this a couple of days with any degree of sincerity you go back and, and be around that person 
uh, things will be different. Your perspective will change, first of all, um, and they will somehow be lighter. They won't be the same unpleasant people that you may be accustomed to. Try it. It works. And so uh, Larissa says, such a huge, powerful transmission. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Tiffany, she's asked her whole family line. We have a lot of problems. Uh, I'm sure you do. Uh, all families tend to have a lot because they've been around many times. Uh, Kristen Strachan says she just tried to get her grandchildren to listen to this and they're being so awful to each other they can't hear anything but that. Yeah. So, yeah, it's the, you know, the ego. We all have our versions of those blockages. We do the best we can. Remember, this is soul level blessings. So, and Kristen knows this, I'm just reminding, but call the soul of the children in, teach them to do the practice with each other. Because the beautiful thing about soul level wisdom and teachings is that we don't have to have that physical person in the same physical proximity. Everything is at the level of soul anyway. All the blockages originate at the soul level and manifest on the physical level. Heal at the level of soul first, the mind and body follows. So just call their souls in. Do your practice in your own uh, private you know, mind space and it will work. The key is consistency as it always is. Yeah, see, Kristen says, I did call their souls. See, I know better. Um, I know she was on top of it. She's a, she is a master teacher in training, so hopefully be elevated very soon. So I wish to offer my gratitude to each and every one of you for coming today. A uh, reminder, if you're not aware, I do have a 12-week open spiritual channels program or awakened spiritual channels program. If you have any form of major stress happening in your life, this will help solve a lot of it. Um, because it gives you some very deep insights and clears a lot of the blockages that tend to reside in our physical, emotional, spiritual body. And the beautiful side effect is you'll open your spiritual channels. So you get both better health and wellness, better uh, way of looking at life, and an opening of your spiritual channels. It starts February 4. You can learn more by following any links that Kristen might post in her chat box and also come to my, my Facebook, excuse me, my webpage, um, which is listed above the video and you can click on that and learn more. And if you're already, um, you know, a divine uh, soul communicator or you've already passed various tests, uh, if you have friends or family that you feel this might be a value for, please um, consider referring them, all right? So I thank you all for coming. I love you. We offer our deepest gratitude to Divine Tao Source, Master Shah, Master Shah's original soul, all the beings of light who have come, Mother Earth, stars, planets, galaxies, universes, Buddha, Kuan Yin, Jesus, Mother Mary, Ganesha, Krishna, all the beings of light. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you for all of your sharing. It was very beneficial. Countless bow downs, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody.